Hey everybody, welcome. It's been a while since I used anything but Shimano rotors. You see that XT or T86 that can be expensive. I usually recommended the SLX RT76 for entry level rotors, but since the new ones are made in China, I started to look for an alternative, and that's how I found the Galfer Wave rotors. Let's take a closer look at these. And I'm bringing this up because the SLX rotors used to be made in Japan. You see this is probably laser cut and then polished as opposed to that the ones made in China they seem to be stamped. You still have this available for both resin and metallic pads just like in the past but this is probably just a cheaper method of manufacturing it. Galfer's been making motorcycle gear since the 90s but now they have this bike line and here at the back of the package you're going to see all the rotors that they offer today. I have the Wave 1.8 millimeter rotors. They also have the 2 millimeter thick for e-bikes. They also have the floating rotor that you see over here and then some road and even a trial version of the rotors. And they all seem to be made in Spain. Scanning that QR code is going to take you to their website where you're going to see that they have uh, pads and a few other accessories for bikes. That's all that's in their lineup for now. At the front of the package, you're gonna see this extra label that's gonna give you the part number, the diameter of the disc, the fact that these are 1.8 millimeter thick. And this is all in a plastic sleeve with the rotor wrapped in cardboard. These are six bolt IS rotors and you are getting the six bolts over here, but compared to Shimano, you're not getting this extra tiny little shim that is supposed to keep the bolts in place. Galfer just seems to rely on the Loctite that's already applied on the six bolts provided. On closer examination, the rotor looks beautiful. You see Galfer here. This is the part number. You're gonna have the minimum thickness as 1.3, an interesting detail, because if you look at any of the Shimano rotors, minimal thickness 1.5 starting from about the same thickness these can last longer on one of the spokes you're going to see this is 160 millimeters so the size and you can see the center being painted they're also mentioning the high temperature resistance surface or breaking surface which is right up here because of the high carbon content and here at the back of the packaging you're going to see the recommendation on proper pad alignment with the disc and I mentioned the rotor thickness. Here's the Shimano 172.73. Galfer rotor is 182. So 182 going down to 1.3. And this is 172, minimal 1.5. So that would last longer than the Shimano SLX. Also, you see this little sticker here telling you not to cut your hands. You're not going to cut your hands because these are not sharp edges anymore. They're pretty sharp on the Galfer because this is probably laser cut and I know you guys are going to scream at me because I'm touching the surface. Yeah, just use alcohol after installing these. For those of us interested in weight, here's the SLX at 112.13 grams. You have the XT rotor 160. That's 19, 110. So about the same weight well golfer is supposed to be 99 grams and it comes up to 101 so you're talking about 10 grams difference between slx or xt for that matter and this uh, new golfer wave the 1.8 millimeter version of it and if you're wondering the 180 version of this disc is 124 grams versus the 120 specified by golfer this wave disc also comes in 180, 203, and 223. From 180 and up, you have a 2 millimeter thick rotor as well. As for the installation, this is very similar to any other 6 bolt disc. You have the maximum torque specified here at 4 newton meters, and you're going to need a T25 to tighten this up, just like with the Shimano rotors. And remember to tighten these up crisscross, so the opposite. Again, four newton meters, T25 torques, and finally, wipe the disc clean with alcohol. 
and you're ready to go out and bed in your new disc. I cannot stress that enough. Quite a few rides and a couple of races on these new Golfer rotors and you know what? They are actually really good. Very easy to bed in and the rotors give you a nice bite when the pads touch the rotor. No noises whatsoever, no squeals or anything like that. So from now on, I think these are gonna be my preferred one-piece rotors as opposed to the good old RT66 from Shimano. So what do you guys think about these new Galfer discs? Would they be a good replacement for the Shimano discs you're currently using? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And until next time, hope to see you folks on the trails. Cheers guys, cheers.